All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into something super exciting, something I'm really passionate about, growing your own herbal medicine cabinet. Imagine this, fresh organic herbs right at your fingertips, ready to soothe, heal, and invigorate. It's about taking control of your health naturally, embracing the power of nature's remedies. Growing your own herbal medicine cabinet is empowering and rewarding, giving you a deeper connection to the earth and your well-being. Right, let's kick things off with chamomile, a true superstar in the herbal world. This beautiful little flower is your go-to for a good night's sleep, a calm mind and a happy tummy. It's like a warm hug from Mother Nature herself. Now, growing chamomile is a piece of cake, even if you're a gardening novice like me. You want to start with seeds, ideally organic, and sow them directly into the ground after the last frost. Chamomile loves sunshine, so find a nice sunny spot in your garden, or even a sunny windowsill if you're growing indoors. Now, chamomile isn't fussy about soil, but it does appreciate good drainage. You don't want those roots getting waterlogged. Give it a good water after planting, and then keep the soil moist, but not soggy. You'll know it's happy when it starts shooting up those lovely little daisy-like flowers. That's when the magic happens. To harvest, simply snip off the flower heads with scissors. You can use them fresh or dry them for later use. I love drying chamomile. It's so therapeutic, just spreading those delicate flowers on a clean cloth or a drying rack and letting them air dry in a cool, dark place. It takes about a week or two for them to dry completely. Once they're nice and crispy, store them in airtight jars away from direct sunlight. Now let's talk about how to use this amazing herb. My favorite way is to make a chamomile tea, perfect for winding down after a long day. Simply steep a couple of teaspoons of dried chamomile flowers in hot water for five to 10 minutes. You can add a bit of honey for sweetness if you like. It's so soothing and calming, it's like a lullaby for your soul. But chamomile isn't just for drinking. You can also use it externally as a wash for skin irritations or as a compress for tired eyes. It's gentle, anti-inflammatory and oh so versatile. Honestly, chamomile is a must have in any herbal medicine cabinet. It's easy to grow, easy to use and packed with goodness. So give it a go, you won't regret it. Next up, let's talk about lavender. Oh, lavender, the queen of calm. Just the scent of it can transport you to a state of pure bliss. It's like a mini spa day in a bottle. Seriously, this herb is incredible for stress relief, sleep and even headaches. I mean, who doesn't need a bit of lavender in their life, right? Now, growing lavender is a bit different from chamomile. It prefers drier conditions and well-drained soil. You can start with seeds or buy young plants from your local nursery. Lavender thrives in full sun, so make sure it gets at least six hours of direct sunlight a day. It's a hardy plant, but it doesn't like its feet wet so be careful not to overwater it. Once established, lavender is pretty low maintenance. Just give it a good trim after flowering to keep it bushy and encourage more blooms. The best time to harvest lavender is when the flowers are just starting to open. You want that vibrant purple color and that intoxicating aroma at its peak. Now there are so many ways to use lavender. You can dry the flowers and make lavender sachets to freshen up your drawers and wardrobes. You can add a handful to your bath for a relaxing soak. You can even make your own lavender oil by infusing the flowers in a carrier oil like almond oil or jojoba oil. But my absolute favorite way to use lavender is in aromatherapy. Just a few drops of lavender essential oil in a diffuser can transform your space into a tranquil oasis. It's perfect for calming your mind, easing anxiety and promoting restful sleep. I tell you, lavender is a true gift from nature. It's beautiful, fragrant, and packed with therapeutic benefits. Give it a go and let the scent of serenity wash over you. All right, let's move on to another herbal hero peppermint. This invigorating herb is like a breath of fresh air, literally. It's fantastic for digestion, headaches, and even clearing your sinuses. Plus, it tastes amazing in everything from tea to desserts. Now, growing peppermint is a piece of cake, even easier than chamomile, I'd say. It's super adaptable and grows like a weed. You can start with seeds or buy young plants. Peppermint loves moist soil, but it needs good drainage. 
It doesn't mind a bit of shade, but it thrives in full sun. Once established, peppermint will spread like wildfire, so you might want to contain it in a pot or a designated area in your garden. Harvesting peppermint is a joy. Simply pinch off the leaves as needed throughout the growing season. You can use them fresh or dry them for later use. I love drying peppermint. It's so easy. Just hang a bunch of stems upside down in a cool, dark place. Once they're dry and crispy, store them in airtight jars away from sunlight. Now let's talk about how to use this versatile herb. Peppermint tea is a classic remedy for digestive issues. It soothes the stomach, relieves bloating and helps with nausea. Just steep a few fresh or dried leaves in hot water for five to 10 minutes. You can add a squeeze of lemon or a bit of honey for extra flavor, but peppermint isn't just for drinking. You can use it to make a refreshing mouthwash by steeping peppermint leaves in hot water and adding a pinch of salt. It's also great for headaches. You can apply peppermint oil diluted in a carrier oil to your temples for relief. And let's not forget about peppermint's culinary uses. It's brilliant in desserts, smoothies and even salads. It adds a refreshing zing and a cool burst of flavour. Honestly, peppermint is a must-have in any herb garden. It's easy to grow, incredibly versatile and packed with goodness. So give it a go and let the invigorating power of peppermint enhance your life. So there you have it, folks. Three incredible herbs to kickstart your herbal medicine cabinet. Remember, this is just the beginning. There's a whole world of natural remedies out there waiting to be discovered. I'll be sharing more herbal adventures on this channel, so stay tuned. Don't be shy. Share your experiences in the comments below. Let's create a community where we can learn and grow together through the power of nature. Are you ready to embark on this herbal journey? Remember, Mother Nature has all the answers.